Pinky! Up, oh, Pinky! There you go, Pinky Poo Poo's. Whoa! I got yolk all over me! It's in my beard. Oh, God. Pinky! Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ken in here, and today we're gonna work with Slinky and possibly introduce Pinky to him for the season. I wanna see if I can get these guys together. But first, I kinda wanna do some cleaning. Uh, we gotta clean the water, we gotta take care of this little hole that he's dug, I wanna fill that in. Uh, I wanna get this place ready for Pinky uh, to come in and experience a little bit of Slinky. So check this guy out. Slinky's such a fun lizard, man. He loves to get into things. I just brought this bucket in as a way to kind of get some of these pine needles out. You know, I'll just stuff them in the bucket. But Slinky's so funny. He loves to investigate every new thing that comes into his enclosure, including a GoPro camera. And uh, he knocked it over. He rolled it around. He's just really an interesting lizard. So smart, so fun. I love this guy. And uh, you know, the whole reason I want to pair him up with Pinky is it'd be nice to have an offspring of Slinky. Don't you guys think? I mean, that would be the ultimate if I would be able to keep his legacy going here at the camp. Because as we know, these guys don't live forever. About 20 years to 25 years is going to be very, very old for a water monitor like this. And Slinky is just about uh, seven or eight years old right now. So he's got some time left, uh, especially being here in captivity, you know, he's gonna be taken well care of and doesn't have to deal with the rigors and stress of living in the wild, which would definitely shorten the lifespan of some of these lizards with so many other animals trying to eat them and trying to find food and, you know, any kind of environmental calamities that may befall them like uh, cyclones and such where they're from, they have a lot of interesting uh, weather and so anyway guys I just thought it was kind of cool to watch Slinky move around while I'm working he's an awesome lizard and uh, okay I guess I'll get back to it folks very good love you slinks I'm just trying to make this nice for your girlfriend you got to clean up the house before you invite the chicks over dude you know it's very important to do a little housekeeping they don't want you to think you're a slob right you like that all right man okay everybody I'm just gonna let Slinky do his thing and I'm gonna get back to work here Okay, so I'm stopping work again because I want to show you something. Slinky is an escape artist, okay? So if you've got a water monitor or any kind of monitor, understand these guys are always going to try and get out. Um, you can see him pushing against the bottom door there, the bottom part of the door. He can actually wedge that open and uh, kind of get into the next section, which is why I have that airlock. Uh, now, a few years ago, Slinky actually did this. I didn't shut the outside door, and when I came home, uh, no, actually the outside door was shut, my bad, and when I came home, I kind of pulled in, I looked, and saw the door was closed, so I didn't have a worry. When I went up onto the patio, Slinky was there basking in and messed my brain up. I'm like, what? Do I have another monitor lizard? Did another monitor just cruise over here? So what happened was, Slinky pushed out, and before he did that, uh, I did not have cement on the ground here so i went ahead and i put cement in now he can't dig out because he dug out under this there wasn't enough wire to keep him in so look at this look at this mental thing. see this that's a strong lizard now i don't want him to hurt himself with the door so i'm gonna open it oh, oh there we go good grief slinks you're a real pain in the neck that's why guys from now on i put there's a latch down at the bottom it is cemented in here so he can't dig out okay so he and and from 
my experience, he's not able to push this door open. So uh, there you go. He's a pain in the neck. But you can see, guys, that he likes to dig and test. Now, there's not wire covering all the bottom, but about 18 inches of cement and wire go into the ground along the entire perimeter of this enclosure, including uh, the Cuban iguanas, which are over here. I went ahead, there they are, they messed with their food. I gotta clean that up too. Um, I went ahead and I put wire down here because Slinky can dig under and I don't want him eating any of the Chinese box turtles because he will do that. So uh, yeah, Slinky is a naughty boy. You gotta keep an eye on your monitors or they will escape. That is just the truth. So there he is. I think we've got him contained. All right, I gotta get back to work. I wanna fill in some of these little holes, smooth out the soil, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Still trying to get out. I'm sweating bullets, uh, but we got this all sorted out. Um, I filled in any holes because when I put Pinky in here, I don't want it to go into a hole and kind of get stuck in there. Uh, so they've all been covered up, anything that's immediately accessible. Uh, so it's all been covered. We're draining this out. I'm gonna clean it um, just because it needs its service. Boy, I can't wait to get Universal Rocks in here along with the guys from Aquascape because once that iguana cage is built out there, uh, we're gonna remove these guys and Slinky is gonna get the entire enclosure. Uh, we're gonna move the monkey tail skinks to this enclosure out here. Um, and basically he'll have full rain. Hopefully the pond will encompass a large portion of this. Um, so I'd love to have a pond that goes both sides. I'll leave a couple of supporting beams here, maybe decorate them with the uh, bamboo like I do, but we'll just take all this out and it'll be an amazing enclosure for Slinky. So that's, you know, a project that's gonna be happening this winter. Ah, definitely winter, as you could say. Whew, okay, well, here we go. Let's keep this draining and uh, that's what I gotta do next. So there it is, we'll drain away. All right, confession time, people. If there was one thing I built that I absolutely cannot stand, it's this pond. I do not like it at all. Uh, bad design, doesn't drain, wah, wah. Where's Greg the pond guy? Greg, I need you. Anyway, I gotta take a jackhammer to this thing. That took way too long to drain and clean. It, it sucks up a couple hours of my time. It's just the worst. So uh, now you know. <clears throat> okay, one other grievance, since I'm airing them all. All right, I've, I've hit my point of uh, tired and cranky. Uh, I hate these hoses. See these hoses, these Goodyear rubber hoses? All they do is kink up. They kink up. Do the wheelie, dude. Do the wheelie. Do the wheelie, dude. Make me happy. Yeah, <laughs> he's learning. I love it. He's basically just hitting that curb hard and popping a wheelie. Right? 
Good man. Okay, anyway, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get some chicks. <clears throat> we're gonna get chicks for the chick for uh, Slinky. I wanna kind of sweeten her up with some chicks, then we're gonna carry her over. We're gonna put her in Slinky's enclosure. And uh, then we're gonna open Slinky's door where he's in his hide box, and I'm gonna feed him a little bit. And then I'm gonna let them interact. So here we go. I just want her to calm down, get some food. Hey girl, where are you? Pinky. I think she's in her. She's probably in here. Pinky. Up, oh, Pinky. There you go, Pinky Poo Poo's. Whoa, hey. Wow, that thing squeaked like it was alive. Strange. Very, very peculiar. Hi, Pinky. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, she's ravenous. <laughs> you think she wasn't eating, but trust me, this little gal eats a lot. So like I said, I'm going to fatten her up. Oh, she loves it. What a gal. What a gal. Let's give her another. She'll start to slow down. <laughs> I got yolk all over me. Ugh, it's in my beard. Oh God, Pinky. I'm just kidding. I'm really not that squeamish, but it's kind of nasty. I don't know if it's in my beard. Is it in my beard? Cause it's on the camera. You know, you're really a mess when you eat. Thank you very much. Good grief. Well, whoa, hey, hey, hey. That's my, that's just the tongues. Come here, you could come out. Hey, she's trying to eat the yolk. Yeah, these things squirt sometimes. And uh, as you can see, that's not fun. She's looking, she's just loving that yolk, man. She's sucking it all up. Yikes. She's gonna go back in the house. All right, that's my girl. That's my girl, yes you are. Okay, listen to me. You should be well fed now. So I'm gonna gently pick you up, okay? Easy, easy, easy. You're my girl. You're my girl. That's a pink, that's a little pink squeaker. Pinky squeaky. Let's see guys, we gotta do this. All right, so we're gonna bring her over. As you know, not easy to do one-handed, but here she is. We're gonna place her in the enclosure and we're gonna feed slinks. And we're going to let these guys interact and see how it goes. Now, why do I want to feed Slinky? I think it's pretty evident. I just want to make sure he's full so that there's no issues. There's no hunger that he's in the mood for love, so to speak, rather than, you know, uh, anything else. Now, again, guys, I don't know if I have anything in my beard, but whatever. Okay. Shall we do this? Shall we get Mr. Slinky's up? Slinky! Slinky! Come on. Now he's quite a bit bigger than Pinky, but it should be okay. Now she sees him. I'll tell you what, Pinks. See how good you are if you're in the mood for that. I don't know. New new environment. Oh look, she is. She is in the mood. So I just want to load him up. And uh, this way we know he's not hungry, right? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you want to actually see Slinky. There he is. Okay. So far, so good. They don't seem to be, there's no like aggressive posturing at the moment. Everybody is well fed. We're gonna go ahead and give them the last one. Okay guys, this is it. We're just gonna let them interact. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna remove this bucket, place it out of the enclosure so I don't have any distractions. I've kind of made it to where there's no place that she can really slither into and hide. So now we're just gonna sit back and watch. Um, this is what it is. Let's have a look. Look at the size difference between slinks and pinks. 
uh, but this is an adult and she will be ready to breed so we're just gonna kind of let it happen we're gonna let it happen and there's the head bobbin that is incredible so it's funny he can see just I don't know if it's scent or sight but there's something that he's able to see on her to let him know it's a female very difficult to sex uh, monitors water monitors here they go let's see if slinky is as gentle as he's always been. Oh, he's not very graceful but here she is look at this look at this and I'm on hand in case things get a little too intense I, I tell you what I really wish I was able to keep these two animals together uh, for extended periods of time I think that would be really cool to have a male and female living together and Ron St. Pierre seems to do it with some of his monitors um, I'm gonna have to ask him what he does but he's definitely in breed mode that is the typical monitor head shake look at her wiping herself off there she's so pretty uh, here comes a big fella now let's see if she's even remotely in he's he, he's definitely intimidating at that size I would say But it is interesting behavior. How funny, he's in breed mode, but he's using his tongue instead of his eyes to lock onto her. Almost like he's in sensory overload. <laughs> little sneeze. Let's see what he does. So far she's pretty calm. A lot of these sugar ants on her right now. These things are super annoying, but they don't bite. They just kind of swarm on you and it's kind of a pain, pain in the neck really. She's looking for a place to get out, of course. Now let's hope I was, I haven't seen uh, or missed something that's a little bit easy for her to get out of. No, looks pretty, pretty locked up in there. Such cool behavior. In the wild, it, oh, <laughs> she gave him a little slap. She knows how funny. Such a big, beautiful lizard, that slinks. So cool, little tail slap. He's not being aggressive. He's just curious and he's acting uh, as his biology dictates. He's really going everywhere she's gone, getting a scent of her and um, just making sure, I guess it's a female. All right, and I knew it. I gotta stop filming because one of my little buddies went down. We had a crash. All right, Sophia had a little accident on her bike. These kids have been loving riding bikes, but when they go faster and faster, you're gonna wind up getting hurt. Now, back to the action here. Still no issues as far as 
Slinky hurting her, he's still just very interested and she's kind of not interested in him. Now these guys are actually within eye shot of each other. Oh, hello. Jeepers. Well, hey, don't mind me. Uh-oh, I don't want her getting out. What I was saying before she ran through my legs was that they can see each other when my truck's not there. And I do notice Slinky likes to sunbathe over here, but he can see Pinky's enclosure. And uh, I'm sure they can smell each other. So they have to know that there was a large, I gotta make sure she doesn't go in there. Cause if she goes in there, she'll never come out. Yeah, look at this, there's a little hole there. Here, you don't go in there, baby. Thank you. I gotta put another rock over there. Um, yeah, but I, I think just the fact that these guys smell each other and can sometimes see each other helps out. Cause she's not nearly as frightened as she was, uh, like the first time I put her in here. So that's good news. But she is looking for any place to kind of hide out. You know, I don't blame her. Um, she's just trying to escape any drama. But as you know, the whole reason we're doing this is to potentially get some fertile eggs out of her, which would be amazing. Little uh, water diversion right now just to fill up the rhino iguana's water, see? I just turn this little ball valve and fill them up. Now we're just gonna open it all the way so we get the most most of the water will come through here. All right, here they come. There's a sling store. Oh, he's getting more and more interested in her. Unfortunately, this is a very slick side until it fills up with water. What he's got to do is he's got to get her on the ground and he's got to pin her. And then he's going to have to copulate with her with one of his hemipenes. They have two penises, lizards. They're split down the middle so they can actually copulate from either side. Having a tail, it's a little difficult, you would imagine. Little lizard birds and bees for you, folks. We are a natural history uh, education channel. Look at that. No biting, which is great. No real aggression, just uh, interest. And she hasn't bitten back either, which is nice. She's just nervous. Now he may grip her with his mouth, which is normal, but you'll be able to see he's more gentle than if it were a predatory response. Strange. What are you on, buddy? Am I annoying you? Am I not supposed to be here? Hmm? Do you like privacy? What do you think, bud? And again, I don't know his uh intention so i'm just going to be calm and let him do his thing all right he's going back to her still no biting so this is good
It's funny, he uh, messes with her, then he comes over to check and see what I'm doing. Right? It's just me, buddy. I'll tell you what, folks, I'm going to leave these guys together for a little while. I'm going to let this camera battery run out and see if we can see anything because uh, it's hot and I'm going to go get a drink. So we'll go ahead and let this run out and then I'll join you guys in a little bit and a little bit later to see what's been going on. Well, I'm back, guys, and uh, not much seems to have happened. I'm sure he chased her around a little bit. I, uh, I don't know, he seems to be just chilling out. So here's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna leave Pinky in this enclosure for a while. I'm gonna see how the two react, see if they calm down, or rather, if she calms down. I wanna see uh, if there's gonna be any issues because it would be really cool if I could have these two lizards housed together. Uh, so we are going to do a little bit of an experiment. I'm not going to be traveling for the next few weeks. So I think it'll be a cool thing for me to kind of leave her in here and see how it, uh, how it goes. Uh, because you know what, guys? <clears throat> if they didn't copulate in this video, uh, perhaps giving them more time will allow them the opportunity to do that if they warm up to each other. So there you go, everybody. That's our video for the day. I got some work done. We got Pinky in here. Slinky is uh, being a naughty boy again. He's gonna go out there. But uh, I know you guys love Slinky and you love Pinky too, so I thought I'd do a video for you. All right, everyone, thank you so much. If you enjoy the videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share them. And uh, that's it. Have a great day, everybody. So stoked on all your support. And uh, I'll definitely be keeping you guys abreast. See? Speaking of naughty, I'll be keeping you guys abreast on what happens here with Pinky and Slinky. We'll see you guys. Come on, Slinks. Oh my God, that's strong. Oh boy, you gotta chop your head off. Oh, no! Talk to you later.